Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to use else if activity in UiPath. So let's get started. You all know about the normal if activity. So this else if activity is a part of if activity family, which allows you to handle complex decision making processes within your automation. Else if activity is essential for handling multiple conditions in your automation workflow. You can search here else if. Let's drag and drop here. This activity contains a condition then this then branch else if this branch basically this is optional and then else branch. So there are condition then else so it's like a if activity but if you are planning to use only then and else branch then you can go with the if activity but if you're planning to use else if like multiple if conditions here then you can go with this else if activity where you have an option to add the else if again so one else if activity can have multiple else if one important thing that you need to understand before using this activity that this activity evaluates all conditions first before actually executing this activity it means whatever conditions you write in all this else if activity that will be first checked that will be validated that will be evaluated first so let's consider one scenario one example we will be showing one input dialog box where we will ask basically the loan manager, loan approval manager or from the loan application team who will be selecting that status of that loan application. It is like pending, in progress, approved or rejected. And based on that selection, we will be showing a message box here. So let's do it practically here. First, we will take here one input dialog box in the dialog title we'll say loan application status in the input label we'll say please choose loan application status for loan number let's say anything this is the loan number from the input type we'll be selecting multiple choice where we'll say choose from these list of application status so in the double course we'll write like uh, first let's say pending input options separate with semicolon right so we'll have to separate with semicolon so pending then in progress semicolon approved semicolon rejected okay now whatever value will be getting from that specific user or you can say loan manager loan approver will be storing in this value entered we'll create one variable control k We'll say loan application status enter. Just verify the variable type. This is string. This is correct. So let's put here a first condition loan application status equals to double quotes. We'll say if loan application status equal to pending. Let's put this in the double quotes. If this is pending, then whatever next steps that you want to follow, you can put here. So in the then branch, I will say if loan application status equal to pending, then take a message box here and put a message here in that. In the first else if condition here, you can either directly put that condition here or you can click on plus 
click on open condition builder here we get an option to choose from the list of value we have greater than greater than, equal to less than less than equal to equal to not equal to so these are the options we have you can choose it here and based on selection an expression will be created expression will be added to this condition here here we have option to add multiple if we'll click on add it allows you to add for the condition using or or and so you can say if loan application status equal to pending or loan application status is equal to just started like that so it will say in this condition you want to follow some steps so you can put that condition here also <coughs> so these expression will be added to this condition by putting or if you are selecting here or so it will say or loan application status equals to started like that if you will select and so and of expression will be added here so let me go one by one so i'll close this click save so first we'll go with this loan application status equal to pending then it will say your loan application is pending so here now we have option to add one more else if and how we can add else if here by just simply click on this plus button and it will click create one more else if now same way you just copy and paste and go here and write here for in progress so if loan application status equals to in progress then we'll copy this message box and paste here we'll say in the message box that your loan application status is in progress now let's minimize this one click on this click on this as well so we have one condition that loan application status equal to pending second is that in progress third will take for the approved so we'll click on add else if again this time we'll say loan application status equals to double quotes we'll say approved and then we'll take a message box here this time we'll say now after that we'll add one more for the rejected we'll click on add else if we'll click on this expression and put here loan application status equals to in double course rejected so we'll take this message box copy this go to rejected one and we will paste this activity and this time we'll say rejected now let's collapse this so we have here you can see loan application status pending in progress approved and rejected now after that we'll add here one message box in the else we'll take this message box and this time we'll say your application loan application status is invalid something like that we'll update so apart from these four status we'll have this message now just go to main condition and you can see here we are getting this error message which says that condition is required but we have entered everywhere we have the conditions but we are still getting that it means this is not synced with this uh, activity yet so let's wait for few more second and then this will be automatically synced so it's based on the system to system so if we are still getting this issue then just restart your uipath studio and launch this and then open this uh, that workflow your that issue will be resolved so i just restarted this one so it's 
just a syncing issue. Okay, so now you can see this has been fixed now. Uh, we are not getting any error message. Now let's try to run this. So run file. Okay, now it's asking us to select that status from the drop down for this. So please choose loan application status for loan number this. So we'll say this time approved. Okay, click OK. So now we are getting message that loan your loan application is approved right click ok let's go through this one now let's see here so we selected approved so first it will check if loan application status equal to pending then this will execute the value from here if it is not pending then it will go with this in progress if it is not in progress then check this if it is approved yes then it will execute the list of uh, activity steps mentioned here, right?